like lying and shit. Hey, I didn't know the camera. See, I forgot. I I have an Android, so it, it it acts a certain way with the camera. I don't know. Anyways, wow, today has been very eventful. I've been crying all day. The moon is in Virgo, and I've been my moon is in Virgo, so I've been having a lot of stomach issues. But anyways, this is gonna be a story time about my first girlfriend all right i can finally tell this um so let's talk about it because i got played so i was in sixth grade i was 11 years old and um forgot how i even met this girl i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I could, it was in class all right we had two classes together we had gym class and we had a, what was called language arts in my yeah it was in my class yeah so I had this black teacher she was very rude had a stank ass attitude oh my god she was so mean so mean um what was her name mrs I think it was mrs Robertson yeah that was her name yeah she had she really basically treated us like college students in the sixth grade because she used to teach college. Which is terrible. But anyways, this is not about her. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just sharing my um, old harboring feelings towards that bitch. She almost failed me to go to summer school, but, but a bitch was smart. And I lucked out because uh, she turned the F into a D because she graded my last assignment after my mom paid for the summer school. And my mom had to get a refund. So, but, so Miss Robertson, shout out to you for being a hateful ass bitch. Anyway, um, that's neither here nor there, but she is going to be part of the story because we were in her class, like I said. Forgot how I even met this girl. So I do have the name drop, yes, because I don't, I could figure out like a different name, but it's not going to make, it's going to confuse me in the story. So yeah, her name was Kylie. <laughs> shout out to you, Kylie, for keep lying that you're gay. We all know you are. Anyway. So, met this girl, I think in gym class. I want to say gym class. I really do. Gym class was like our, what was it? Uh, it was our third hour. I remember that. It was our third hour. And then language arts was sixth hour. I remember that too. Sixth, yeah, it was sixth hour. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So forgot how we like met like initially met I think I just walked up to her I'm a social butterfly yes I'm an introvert but I am a social butterfly all right met her and found out her name and I even forgot like how we even started like dating I just remember I think I remember telling her I liked her or something like that and she said uh I like you too. Like we pass notes and, and this is the thing. I was in the time when uh, it was in the era. I was, I did not have a phone. All right. I haven't had the phone. I didn't get a phone until I was 17. All right, cool. And we were passing notes with each other back and forth across, across the room. And we would literally get in trouble by Miss Robinson ugly ass because yes, she was ugly. Because, um, you know, she hated that shit. And again, she acted like a college professor. And she sucked at teaching. Like, nobody understood what the fuck to do. She sucks. Anyway. But I remember us being together. And she was a cancer. That is a very important to the story. Yes, it is. Mm. So. Of course, you know, my parents didn't know. I was gay. And, um. She, I don't think she told her parents. I think she stayed with her, she stayed with her, her nana, quote unquote, her grandma. Uh, something happened with her mom, I forgot. It was something, she had like uh, mom issues. And uh, it made sense because the way our relationship was very up and down. Like, very up and down. So basically, um, we were made fun of a lot. In my school, how I used to, mind you, you have to take your mindset back to like 2011, okay? 2011, 2012, right? 
hated they still hated gays they still do today but it's way worse being gay in school was like the biggest insult like and i literally remember people calling me like a dyke and bitch and all that shit i remember seeing my name on the bathroom stalls um uh, uh saying pika is a fat is an ugly fat bitch pika is a dyke pika is a dyke bitch i remember facing so much criticism and so much scrutiny for being gay and uh the thing with kylie is that uh we were on and off a lot. We argued a lot. Again, she's a Cancer. I'm a Scorpio. It's it was a thing. All right, and it's the thing. She got to the point where she was always jealous. There was times when I literally. I was talking to this girl, not no flirtatious wise, right? We was just talking like on some friendly shit, right? Kylie was calling my name. This was in gym class. Kylie was calling my name. And I remember she would call me over and I knew I was going to get dumped when she'll be like, oh, we got to talk. I knew that's what it meant. We're on Pika, you're going to get dumped today. Again, for like the 10th time this week. But anyways, it was a middle school relationship, guys. So it was pretty childish, but it was very, it was like very serious though. That's the thing. Um, it was very serious. It was my first girlfriend. Like, I want to do everything right. I'm a Scorpio. Like, I love hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm passionate. I love hard and I love deep. Love very passionately. Okay. I want to do everything for this girl. I was ready to, like, give her the world. Like, I was really seeing myself growing up and, like, being with her. Because for real. And, and I'll be like, oh, so you're mad? And she'll be like, yep. I'll be like, is it because I was talking to somebody else? She was like, yeah, you took too long to come over here. Like, she was very controlling. She got very controlling, got very jealous. I remember one time when there was like a whole, like 20, the whole gym class did not like me. Because they thought that I was talking shit about them. Even though a lot of bitches, I was not even talking shit. Because a lot of them didn't have anything for me to talk shit about. A lot of them was basic as fuck. Like, when I say basic, like, the ugly girls, like, was really thinking that I was on they tip for real when they was so worried about me. And I remember, specifically, those girls literally formed a whole entire circle around me saying that they are going to beat my ass and that I need to stop talking shit. Me and Kylie were broken up. Her ass was sitting down on the gym class floor, coloring in her binder, using different kind of markers, ignoring the whole thing. Didn't defend me. Didn't come to my rescue, didn't do shit. It was just me against 20 plus girls saying that they want to fight me, wanting to jump me. And of course you think, oh, Pika, well, you shouldn't have took her back after that. I did. I did take her back. Sad part is about Kylie. Whenever we broke up, she would say that she was straight after claiming that she was bisexual. That's how I knew she was very insecure and she hated herself. Because like I said, again, this is a place that we was in a school where gay was not okay we was literally made fun of for being gay like it was very taboo to be bisexual in my middle school yeah there was a lot of mexicans but it was predominantly white and it was, it was like a like a hand it's like a it was like a big group of black people there but it, it wasn't as much as you think like i grew up in a predominantly white places so um but that hurt my feelings for real and she even said like afterwards like when we got back together because i let her back in um oh i'm so sorry that you know i should have stood up for you and all that bullshit right she like treated me like shit through the whole relationship i ain't gonna lie like the beginning was great because there was times when like we would uh and i thought it was so funny how people made fun of us but they like they were like intrigued by gay people because we would be in gym class. We had like change in these shower stalls or we change in the locker rooms. Um, but we would kiss in the shower stall, right? And then there were so many girls like buzzing about it. Like they would make it a public spectacle. Like that's all they talked about was, oh, you guys were kissing da, 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 to the point where a teacher had to literally pull us to the side and say, hey, I have no problem with you guys being together, that you guys are a thing, but I just don't need you guys to like kissing like the shower stalls and stuff like that because it's making these girls talk about it like it's bothering the other girls 
so sad that I I really went to like homophobic school like I noticed all the girl like all the teachers would get onto us for kissing or me kissing see me kissing with another girl but they wouldn't say anything to straight couples they'll be like because you know how students basically fuck in the hallways right they'll be kissing and shit and tonguing each other down teacher won't even say anything but would they see me kiss another bitch it was a problem it was a motherfucking problem okay that's how i know this shit was homophobic um but what really set me off she kept breaking my heart um she kept leaving me for this one guy named john i, for, I think that's his name yeah it was john that her and she had this best friend named mary Ugh. the most what i tell you a basic like this girl did not wash her ass she didn't wash her hair every single day she came because you know when white people don't wash their hair that it came greasy like her hair was matted to her scalp she smelled like fish every day and you knew it was coming from that cootie cat okay you know it was coming from and she kept using the excuse of oh well the vagina is a self-cleaning organ but yeah bitch you should clean it sometimes you feel me like ew like we knew she was dirty and she always was talking shit about me said she didn't like me and I didn't give a fuck about Mary. Cause, but the thing is, Kylie gave a fuck about Mary because it was her best friend. So it's kindergarten. They had like pictures together and shit like that. So she had the most to say. And I said literally like, hmm. and it's funny because I went out of my way to make her feel comfortable. I went out of my way to be nice to her ugly ass. Her, she was so basic. I'm sorry. Like, ugh. Like, I don't even know why Kylie even hang around her, but it's because she said, well, we've been friends since diapers. And I'm like, yeah, but she clearly needs one because she still stinks. But anyway, um, it got to the point where we were so on and off and we argued so much. I ended it. I ended it completely. We literally lasted a year on and off. I was tired of being left for a guy that did not eventually he played her ass he showed her that he did he all he wanted was sex from her and ended up dating her best friend so her and her best friend fell out so shout out to you mary i hope you wash your hair now and i actually hope you wash your ass because you're stupid um you hated on me because you didn't have a relationship of your own so you stole your best friend's man even though you knew that your best, best friend had a crush on him, even though she was with me, which is still fucked up. That's why I will never date a cancer ever again because they're, I've been cheated on by a cancer. And I'm, I actually already had a story time about that, how I got cheated on. It was by a cancer. And I know you don't judge anybody by their zodiac sign, but when you date multiple people, boy and girl of their zodiac sign, and they both play your ass, stay away from them. It's a sign. Anyways, but yeah. And of course... After that, she did not want her family to know. Didn't I like will post her on Facebook, whatever? And she will like delete it because she knows she'll be tagged in it. She won't find, doesn't want her family to know that she's gay, whatever. But I noticed, like, I think it was like a year later. Like, me and her were cool. Like, it was seventh grade. Wait, no, it was like, I was in eighth grade. And I dated another girl after that who was in seventh grade. And she was jealous type because she was a Scorpio. Um, she hated me talking to her because she knew that Kylie was trying to like work her way into like my good graces. I didn't see it as that. Because like, I don't know why I was brainwashed to think that she was really cool. And I seen though, after high school that she literally like cut her hair and changed into this different person and like lost a little weight because she was like the big girl everybody made fun of her because she was fat and curly headed so she started like dyeing her hair and straightening her hair starting to eat less and started cutting herself and shit and was telling everybody that she was straight and but I did notice though she did say and I quote I wish I didn't treat you like that because well, yeah, she said, yeah, she said, um, I wish I could go back because I'm sorry that I even treated you like that. You didn't deserve that. I wish I could have another chance because I treated you like shit. And she did. Throughout the relationship, throughout that year, she did. The sixth grade year was like one of my worst years. I would say out of all, out of all the bullying, I did face a lot of bullying in my elementary years and, and up. Okay. But sixth grade was the worst fucking time ever. Like I was on some suicidal stuff i was cutting myself and everything all right like it was terrible bro 
over this fucking bitch, yo. Over this bitch that didn't even treat me right. Um, so, hopefully she finally, like, embraces her sexuality today. I definitely, I definitely do. Um, I'm very happy that I am. <laughs> I don't regret it. And... Yeah, that was basically the story time of my first girlfriend. She was very, very terrible to me, actually. Being real, like, I can't even be fake. She really did treat me like shit. Played me, we kept going back and forth. Didn't stand up for me when I was getting bullied. Like, she would be friends with my bullies, and then they will be, then they will bully her too. Like, doing, and the sad part is every time we broke up, she would do that funny shit. I don't like that shit, but how I saw her back then, I, I felt like I was in love, which I definitely wasn't. I, it was just my first girlfriend, so like I did love her, um, but not gonna sit here and act like she didn't play me either. Cause she did, she did, and in her mind, she's straight, but no, she's not. <laughs> She said that for appearances because she wanted people to forget um, the middle school age that she was, like her in, in middle school and think that she was straight so she could be letting the cool club. Because now I see like, I noticed in high school, like people thought she was like, I guess cooler because she started straightening her hair. And I told her, I was like, why do you keep straightening your hair? Her like, When I tell you her curls were beautiful, like I'm saying her hair was like at least, I think it was like type 3A or 3B, like beautiful hair, right? For a white girl, okay? Like really beautiful hair. And she was thicker, but she hated people talking about, you know, her hair. And they kept telling her, oh, you should straighten your hair. You should straighten, you know, how people, when they see a curly head girl, they always want to force her to straighten her hair. And she fed into it, even though I was trying to give her advice and tell her, you know, your curls are beautiful. Please stop listening to what people say. Like, stop. But anyways, that is the story time of my first girlfriend. I got played, y'all. I lived and I learned. And I learned that I am a lover through and through. I will fight for what I love. Like, and my Venus is in Scorpio. So I love very passionate, very hard, very deep. And I'll give you the world if you let me. Which gets me heartbroken a lot. But I will one day find someone that matches my energy so I don't regret it. So if you like the story time, make sure to subscribe and like me, Pika. Bye.